Slash ask Reddit. What simple scientific fact would baffle someone born 1000 years ago? You can take a portrait without painting. A magnet, some copper wire, and a fine filament in a vacuum bulb. Really would love to see people's reaction to this one. You wouldn't. Their reaction would be a campfire with you as the kindling. That's why you don't just go tada and do a big reveal. You show them as you're building it and teach them some of the principles behind it i still give them at least 50 50 odds of burning you alive <laughs> removing all of someone's blood is not a good way to cure them of illness well it certainly ends the illness certainly end the person as well now we're just split in hairs here silly face <laughs> women can rationalize calm down your feminine hormones are making you hysterical Illnesses are caused by tiny little living things that are so small we can't even see them and there are millions of them everywhere at any given time. <laughs> Heavy objects fall at the same speed as light objects. Honestly I still find that surprising. And I've done the experiment myself. It really is one of those things that doesn't make sense in your head. Despite understanding why it happens and having seen it done I'm still suspicious. Doesn't make sense in your head. It kinda does though. One stone gotta fall at the same speed as two stones and they fall at the same speed as a glue two stones together. But what's a glue two stones anyway? It's just a bigger stone. <laughs> using lead for cups is a bad idea. And using it to sweeten your food? Way worse. I'm sorry, what? Website in the description below. <laughs> you know all those diseases that keep killing your kids? If we inject a very carefully prepared dosage of those diseases into them, they'll never actually get sick from them. But some people don't do it. Honestly I think this would definitely be more shocking to them. It's unimaginable. Every single one of them has lost at least one sibling. Not just someone they know, a sibling. And these people refuse to treat it with a perfect treatment. By which I mean it works almost 100% of the time. It's insane. These anti vaxxers need to take a walk around a old cemetery. The amount of graves for children is startling. Or do their family tree. I've done mine and so many dead kids. I can contact anyone in the world instantaneously, from anywhere in the world. Yet out of all those people you still call your ex. Pretty sure the time travel will be a big enough hit that I won't need to dazzle them with trivia. They won't understand it, you'll be burned at the stake for being a witch. You arrive in the 1600s to find yourself in a locked dungeon. Only the torchlight illuminates the paintings depicting people being tortured. A closer examination shows what appear to be Nikes on the feet of one of the victims. You rush to the next picture. This one is unmistakably wearing a shirt that says Old Navy. In a moment of panic, you suddenly realize that you're now a witch. This is the time travel slash Elder Scrolls crossover we've been waiting for. Most of you die because you drink the same water that you crap in. Surprised Pikachu. That we have relatively recently started to explore the stars, but that we have the moon and Mars mapped out before our own sea floors. I always thought Futurama explained this one the best. The pressure is over 10,000 atmospheres. How many atmospheres can the ship withstand? Well it's a spaceship so anywhere between 0 and 1. Once you're actually in space keeping some people alive in a container is way easier than keeping some people alive in a container at the bottom of the ocean. We just did submarines first because the ocean is way easier to put our people containers in. That star over there is bigger than our sun. They didn't even know the sun was bigger than earth. The mold on bread can be used as an antibiotic. And a different mold on oats or unrefined grains can cause a psychedelic trip. Like old Quaker Oats. It was an episode of 1000 Ways to Die I can't seem to find. It was a German or Dutch man during the Middle Ages that ate soiled oats and began speaking in tongues he was stoned to death by fellow villagers that feared he was possessed. In reality the mold had similar composition to LSD and he was probably terrified out of his mind. Except that they didn't know what antibiotics were because they didn't know what bacteria were. There was actually a relatively narrow window in human history between the discovery of animalcules, and the discovery of penicillin. 
it was only about 300 years where we knew bacteria existed, but didn't have a good way to fight them. And really, it wasn't until Pasteur in the late 1800s that we started to understand the germ theory of disease, so that would cut it down to less than 100 years. It's crazy how slowly it seems innovation used to happen 1000 years ago, and how quickly it's been happening in the last 100 years. 1000 years ago we first invented gunpowder and eyeglasses. 100 years ago we invented rockets and TV. Then it was only about 50 years ago that the first practical fiber optics were created. And it only took a couple decades to start laying fiber optics across the ocean. Most of everyone on Reddit has lived in a time where a global interconnected communications network is normal, but that was created in the relative blink of an eye in human history. We spent thousands of years completely ignorant that there were bacteria living in things, and hundreds of years figuring out that moldy bread could kill them sometimes. Doritos. This is probably the real answer. The enormous quantity of food, available in forms so highly processed that the ultimate origin is totally obscured. I mean, in 1019 Europe, corn did not exist, much less corn tortillas, much less deep fried and covered in fluorescence powdered cheese. It still baffles people to this day, Earth is not flat. Eratosthenes calculated the circumference of the Earth in, like, 200 BC. There was never a time when learned people thought the world was flat. And luckily for us here in the 21st century, we have all the information in the world at our fingertips, so no one has any excuse for believing dangerous and ridiculous nonsense anymore. The same energy that they feared in lightning can be used to save lives, brighten homes, and generally make everything more convenient. Pretty much any medical knowledge. Did you know the human body is filled with a skeleton. Panicked peasant sounds. Mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more edit videos like this. Don't forget to smash that like button and stay crispy guys.